What's up guys, Zach in here. And in today's video, we're gonna be cold calling live sellers. I'm gonna get ready and cold call Zillow for sale by owners live for you. So you can see exactly me doing live Zillow for sale by owner calls. You're gonna see me doing live cold calls, talking to real motivated sellers, me trying to close these sellers. And most importantly, you're gonna watch me wholesale real estate. You're actually gonna see me in the trenches, no other real estate influencer, guru, whoever you wanna call, does this they don't go they don't go in the trenches and go with you guys a great leader will actually go with you into battle and show you the true true business and actually show you the stuff uh no one else does this everyone else is scared i'm ready to go i'm ready to show you exactly how to cold call live before i break it down do me one big favor smash that like button hit that subscribe button comment below your questions and what we're going to do is we're going to get jacked up make some cold calls you know the, you know the vibes guys that's wholesale and real estate baby let's get it so Let's break it down. Woo! Get the fuck out of bed, bitch. Go. Get up, get up. I the guy cold call. Time to wake up, bitch, get up. Get up, get up, get up. Get up. to go we're excited i am back in the country uh i'm ready to go guys so we are back uh, we're ready to start cold calling let's get it going guys if you want to become a champion in wholesaling real estate virtual wholesaling real estate these are the videos you have to watch this is stuff you have to understand and you're going to break down exactly so let's get into it let's start cold calling live guys i just want to get into it i just want to show you exactly the value i'm trying to bring i want to show you me in the trenches and breaking it all down so uh, let's go in the picker wheel i don't know where i ever cold call because guys come on come on you think I'm a guru? You think I'm gonna have my mom on the other line, my grandma that I have a paid actor? No, no, these aren't warm leads. These are cold calling. I show you how to cold call, not warm call. I show you how to do this business for real. I'm not a scared little guru. I'm here to show you everything for free. So let's break it down. Let's cut the spinner wheel. Let's see where I am cold calling today. Woo! Let's get it. All right, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Oh, Jersey. All right, bet. Let, let's cold call in New Jersey. Oh, snap. Uh, so let's get it going. Let's uh, start cold calling in New Jersey. And uh, let's get it. We got a lot of Jersey people in the house. Uh, let's see how nice the Jersey boys and uh, gals are going to be. Uh, they have a bad reputation, uh, but they're to the point. Uh, nothing I have not dealt with before. So we're going to be cold calling in New Jersey. I click hide choice, uh, which means next time I spin the wheel, New Jersey won't be on there uh, until we do it again next year. Uh, so let's start cold calling New Jersey. So uh, let's break it down. Call the housewives. I'll call the housewives in New Jersey. We'll, 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 we'll go do that. Okay. Uh, so we'll have the spinner wheel up here. Uh, so first thing I do, hey, if I'm going to cold call New Jersey, I got to cold call the right leads. How do I find the right leads to cold call New Jersey? Let's figure out what the median ARV in New Jersey. So I'm going to search New Jersey Zillow median home price. It's going to be high. Uh, not bad. Actually kind of lower than I thought. Uh, so the median home price in New Jersey currently is, according to Zillow, 470000 which actually lower than I thought. My, my local market is like, uh, I think, 70 k lower than that. Uh, so not bad. So, hey, let's start. Uh, let's get calling, right? Let, let's go into Zillow. Let's go uh, click buy here. Let's go to four homes for sale. Uh, let's start filtering everything out. So we are going to do New Jersey. All right. Don't worry, guys. I've watched all the Sopranos, so I'm pretty much uh, an expert on New Jersey culture. Just so everyone has to know that I'm an expert when it comes to New Jersey. Okay, so let, let, let's let's talk about it. All right, let's go to for sale, and I'm going to go here. Going to go to for sale, for sale by owner. Get rid of agent. New construction. Get rid of coming soon. Uh, auction foreclosures. Going to get rid of all that junk. And now we are in the price. 
Uh, I don't want to go over uh, 470 on any of this stuff. I really don't even want to go over 350. So let's just do 350. And let's do 300. Let, let's, New Jersey is actually huge. So we're going to do uh, New Jersey. Minimum, I want at least 35K. And then, all right. So we're filtering this a little more. Home type. Let's deal with just properties right now. Uh, we can do townhomes and condos. And then manufactured homes. All right, we're gonna filter this list a little more. Uh, I don't want to deal with anything else right here, right? And eh, mm, days on Zillow. Let's do at least ninety. Let's do that. So let's uh, do some of the older ones. Let's go. So I go by newest here, and I want to cold call all the old simmering leads, the leads that are just kind of simmering already there. So uh, let's get calling. So let's go. All right. Start scrolling all the way down. All right scrolling 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 this is live calls guys just fyi for everyone um these are 80 days see a little older this is perfect so 89 days okay i think i had to filter a little too much on here so let's do any and let's go and do some of the older ones these old simmer and leads all right we're going to four so i kind of like filtered it down really well um so let's start calling. We had a price cut, 150 liquid. Uh, let's get it going. All right, let's start calling. All right. Um... Oof. All right. Fast one. Or press one for more options. Hey, this is Zach. Give me a call back whenever you can. Thank you. All right. On to the next one. Next one here is... I love when people complain about like there's cheap real estate in New Jersey to be wholesaling still. Like a lot of people think like not all New Jersey is like Newark. Like that like you got Camden here, right? Oh, FYI guys, as someone there's a lot of direct mail, I legit hate how some of these properties have like zero in front of the zip code. It makes it so difficult in Excel sometimes. So frustrating. Yeah, for my direct mail people, make sure you get the zeros if you're doing New Jersey. Hey, this is Zach. Give me a call back whenever you can. Thank you. Leave dropping those voicemails in there. All right. Now, these are older ones, so they're less likely to pick up, but there's most likely of being a good deal. So, uh, already 862551557. Decent deal here, right? Huh. Hey, hey, this is Zach. Give me a call back whenever you can. Thank you. All right, let's get going here. All right, all right. These are like terrible pictures. Uh, rent your own, please. Not have realtor call. If it's a four, all right. Not bad, not bad. All right. Three, three, seven, eight. All right. Hello? Hello? Hello, hi. Is this the owner of 34 Federal Court? It is. 
Hello, hi, this is Zach. I'm calling on a uh, recorded line uh, for my business cell here. Um, I'm calling to see if you're still looking to sell it. I'm not a realtor or anything. I'm looking to buy it. I uh, just had a couple of questions about it. You're still looking to sell it, right? Correct. Yes. Okay. Uh, what's your name? Allie. Allie? Nice to meet you, Allie. This is Zach. Uh, so the reason I'm calling you is this seems like a property I might want to buy. Just my number one concern. I don't really see many pictures of it. So uh, I guess my first question is, can you tell me a little bit about the property? Okay. And molding, uh, boards, five and a half inches, um, lighting, electrical. Uh, you know, from the kitchen to the dining room, there's a now it goes through before it can go through. There was no walkway; it was like just a little window. So now there's a walkway. There's uh, new electric, new uh, hot water heater, new electrical box. New uh, electric is now in the rooms where there was no electric in the middle of the rooms. It was only in the kitchen and the dining room. Um, that was the only place that it really was, and then the hallway. Now it's throughout in every bedroom in the middle of the room. So. Okay. Um, all right. I'm just trying. What, what's the? Is there a unit number on this, or is it just 34 Federal Court? Yeah, 34 Federal. Okay. Okay. Well, I was searching it. There's some unit numbers that came up for other ones, but okay. And how recent were these? Are you? You sound like you're not looking for. A, it doesn't sound like you're too mean that you're looking for an apartment. Like you're just buying for yourself. You're looking. Are you an investor? Well, this looks like a condo that I could potentially rent out. Yes. Now going, I, I also own upstairs. I get $1,500 a month. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. For this current unit? Upstairs. Okay. And, and there's, there's three. Three on top of each other. Got it. Okay. All right. And what are some of the expenses? Like the HOA? Is there any like fees for the condo? Okay. That's not bad. All right. And does that come with the insurance? Uh, I guess so. Because it's HOA, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm just trying to do some figures. If I bought this and rented it out. Uh, so you recently, so when did you renovate this? Was this last year? Yes. Okay. Yes. All righty. And I mean, this seems, seems like it's, it'd be cash flowing well. Is there a reason why there's not a, a tenant in there right now? Back Got it. Got it. Okay. And I'm, my last question is if you have any other rentals, is there a reason why you're selling this and not renting it out? Is there like an issue with this property or something? I don't. I don't want to deal with it anymore. I don't want to. Got it. I, I own a bar in Pennsylvania. I, I live in PA. I don't uh, really want the rentals. Yeah, got it. Okay. Alrighty. So I'm just kind of looking at this. If I get 1500 a month on this property, um, let's see here. I mean, I, this thing's been listed for a little bit. I mean, what? If I bought this cash, I mean, do, do you know general price range that'll work for you? If I bought this cash? Like not real or anything like that. If I paid all the closing costs, like, do you know what would work for you? Here? Would what work? You know what price would work for you? Well, I'm asking one fifty nine nine. Okay, I know you're asking for it, but I mean it's been listed for quite some time at that price. I mean, is, is there any leeway here? Have I just bought this cash? Okay. Well, I mean, what, where, how much are you going to go down here? Because I, my biggest concern, Ali, if it's been listed for what, f five or six months at that price and it hasn't moved, I mean, are you getting offers at that? I'm going to give you a fair uh, offer. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I, I got, well, I was also willing to hold the big mortgage for the people, but 
but I want them to say I'm coming with $10,000 down. That's no, 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 you know, that's no, that's not a pony in the race. That's not, like, not 13 So, and then, and right now, uh, we just got another, uh, we, we, I have many offers on it. I put it off myself on there, as you see it. So, but now, you know, I mean, I have offers now. Uh, I just got three at full price. So, um, wow. I, I don't think it's going to uh, appraise, though, even though I think this unit is the best unit in there, it's a downstairs unit. I don't think it's going to appraise for the 159.9. I think it's going to probably appraise for like maybe. 10,000 less, 10, less, probably. Do you think it'll price for 150000 I think it'll price for like probably 147 okay. or 140, maybe $148 or $9. Okay. So if you think the market value is 147 so are these cash offers or they're with like financing and stuff? With, no, with financing. But now the, the, one, uh, the one that I have a full offer on, she is got apparently there. Um, she wants to move forward. I just found out that, so I might have a full offer. Uh, it depends on. Um, I, we I want to write the deal to where she's understanding that she has to cover the difference of the appraisal, and she's willing to do that. So she's going to meet. I'm going to meet her tomorrow. So, so I might okay. have it sold at up the door. So it might be sold anyway. Okay. Is there? So is that just a regular buyer? Or is that a realtor? It was listed. No, that's regular buyer. She, it's been listed for a long time up there because I was out of the country. That's why it's been listed. And, and I wasn't, and I had like, honestly, ridiculous amount of calls on it. Ridiculous. And I'm just now answering them because there are so many. But I was, out, I was in Peru for like three months. Um, and then I didn't even take the calls because it said, because realtors were calling me. As well, yeah. they wanted to stay at buyers. I'm like, I'm, I'm really like, so, okay. Well, so I, uh, we might, I mean, if you're interested, um, you know, you can give me a call back if, if you're interested and make me offer. But I can tell you this tomorrow, I think it's going to be sold. I think I'm going to accept this girl's offer tomorrow. Okay. So, and I talked two o'clock tomorrow. Okay. So, well, I'm going to have to do that. Well, I don't want to compete with an offer of someone who's buying over what the appraised value is. I probably won't be able to do that. So, it, your best interest is probably going with them. So, let me call you back in a week. Fingers crossed to get it sold okay, sure. at that price, but we'll, we'll follow up and uh, see. Uh, best of luck, Allie. Right. Bye, bye. Bye. So here's the thing about wholesaling real estate and to a point. You got to understand leverage and offers. So let me kind of break down why I didn't even get this person an offer. She's leveraging two tentacle offers of above market value. They want to praise. Whenever someone says they have these crazy offers, they're trying to justify that as why I need to offer crazy. She doesn't even think it'll price for 147. I'm telling you right now, she won't get that. Unfortunately, if I offered her, I'm probably wanting to lock this thing up for 120. And she's already okay at 147 on it. I could probably get it for 120. But for me to get that, I'm gonna have to follow up in a week because let me explain this. If I offered her 120 right now, she said, Oh, I'm not taking that. I have an offer for 147, whatever, ne next week, right? There's nothing I can do. I th my little uh, lying meter is going off. If you've had this thing listed for 216 days and you haven't sold it, it's not all coming out right now. So I think this property, I could probably lock this thing up for 120. It's going to give me a week. Uh, she said that person's coming tomorrow. So let that person, you know, fail. And then I gotta, this is a follow-up, obviously. So uh, th there's no point of giving my offer already because then I lose my leverage on this one. I'd have to offer probably 100, counter back and lock it up for 120. But I can't do that right now because she's using all the leverage of another offer. She has got to show me that offer, but we'll see and uh, see what happens there. But uh, yeah, I, that, that, that I got to wait for. So let, let's keep calling this. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, half acre. Porches, property tax, not bad. All right, that kind of looks like out of the shining. Uh, some illegal electrical, but... I won't complain. All right. Let's get here. 609-602-8866. All right. Perfect. Wow. 
Hello, hey, is this the owner of 2513 Temperance Street? Yep. Hello, hey, this is Zach. I'm calling on my uh, business cell, so it, I think this is going to be recorded just FYI for you, uh, for me and my partner. But uh, I'm calling here. I I'm looking to see if you're still looking to sell this. I saw this thing got listed a little bit ago, but I was uh, seeing if you're still looking to sell the property. Yeah, it's 98000 I'm firm. I'm firm with that price, and you guys handle the closing. Okay. Well, can you tell me a little bit about the property? Uh, the perks on the property, uh, 2011, the, it had a new septic tank put in, and all the, uh, the four inch and the two inch was replaced, and the house took septic. Uh, I think some leach, leach field work was done. Uh, I have all the paperwork from the county that was inspected, approved, uh, and the owner shortly after that. Uh, that was done, moved in with his uh, daughter, so something's like brand new. The, uh has a brand new deep well, 200 foot. That's brand new, and has a new 200 amp panel. Uh, that was put in right around the same time also, right around 2011. Um, has new uh, casement windows in the basement, new window in the bathroom. Uh, it's a half acre deep lot, I reduced the tax to 1800 per year. Uh, to make this house livable, uh, your biggest costs are going to be it needs a new bathroom, it needs a new kitchen, and it needs a new heat system. Uh, okay. The rest of the work inside is cosmetic. Uh, yeah, I can see that. Walls, you know, I started working on the walls, uh, you know, patching and sanding. Uh, it does have the original windows in it, too, so, you know, wow. new vinyl replacement windows, so... Okay. That's where I'm at. The property's going up in that area. So uh, the house just went out on the corner. Uh, sold for two forty four. Um, it's it was a five bedroom moving condition, but was dated like mine inside. Oh wow! Um, so that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at with the property. Okay. <laughs> All right. And how's the electrical on the uh, property here? Second, does it get replaced too? The electrical. No, I told you it has a new two hundred amp panel. Okay. And half the electrical. Half the electrical. Okay, where's the where's the other half that needs to be done? Upstairs. Okay, I'm just trying to see if it's the, the, the electric. The electric does work throughout the house. There's a, there is a problem in the kitchen that there's a cross feed issue when you have a when you turn the switch on it pops a circuit breaker. That's in the kitchen somewhere, but I was gonna cut the walls and go over the wiring on, on that. I just haven't had a chance to do it. The only reason I'm selling the property, I put it up on there. If I get the right number, fine. If not, I just might keep the property as a, as a vacation home when I come visit the kids when we buy something down south. But uh, it's a nice, it's a nice neighborhood. Dead End Street. The neighbors are great. Uh, you're only you're only uh, less than a quarter mile from the Maurice River, which is a major, major thoroughfare out to the Delaware Bay. Um, you know, it, like I said, it's a, it's a real nice neighborhood, and nice street. The whole street is. Uh, uh, both sides of that street, Temperance Street, was all Oysterman back in the day. It's, in a, it's a Siemens house, the design of it. Um, yeah. I don't know what else. It has newer vinyl siding. Uh, the roof, I'm guessing, is about 15 years old on a house and a garage. I had a roof. This guy's got no motivation. We're going to try to create a financing play on this. That's the only thing I could salvage this one. Yeah. Uh, basically, the exterior is good. I did a lot of work to the exterior. It had an ugly uh, uh, AC uh, metal frame hanging out the side. It had a big 200, uh, I guess 200 amp, whatever, air conditioning unit out the side. I, I closed that in, put vinyl siding there. Opposite side of the house, it had an old screen and porch. It was the last day I took that down and screened in that, or uh, vinyl sided that. So but basically, uh, I had new decks, put a new porch railing and a new deck on the other side where the uh, the porch used to be, so those are pretty new. But basically, exterior, you're not going to do nothing to the exterior. I took care of all that. I painted the foundation. Cosmetically, the exterior is good. I painted the porch over and those are good. The main thing, like I said, if you're looking to flip this property, I guess it made another 30000 if you do it yourself. Uh, kitchen, bath, like I said, new heat system. The heat system that was in there was taken out when the daughters had it. Uh, they had a uh, heater failure, and the insurance company at the time took the heater out to the best to get it, make sure it wasn't fraud. Uh, but I, I, I gutted all the boilers out. It had old boilers in it. 
and I was seeing rust trails on the joints, so I didn't want to take a chance with the heat system, so I had a scrapper come in there and remove all the boilers and the piping. So uh, I had quotes of uh, uh, heat systems anywhere from uh, four or $5,000 up to 14000 to put a new heat system in it. So, okay. And AC, central AC. Okay, what's your name? It's a, it's a half-acre half deep lot, too. Got it. What, what's your name? Uh, my name's Mark. Mark. So this is Zach, Mark. Just FYI. Uh, nice meeting you here. All right. Uh, I'll be honest with you, Mark. If, if I could buy this thing for 98, put 30, 40,000 and sell it for 244,000, I would be all over this, right? Um, right, right. I don't think that's going to work for me. Uh, I'm just being straight up with you, but I appreciate talking about it. I mean, the only thing I could do if I could rent this out and buy it, uh, that would be a lot more, make a lot more sense than, you know, flipping it. I mean, what, the only thing I could think I could help you out here. Go ahead. Yeah, it's not in rentable condition. Like no, yeah. I have to probably fix it up, I mean, rent it out. I mean, uh, it just, just FYI, I had it sold three times. Oh, wow. And uh, I just, and I just, not, not speaking against you guys, I just don't have time for flippers, investors, wholesalers, rent with the option to buy crap. I had it sold three times. And uh, I had three contracts written up. And uh, every time, right before closing, uh, something happened. They, they either didn't like the interest rate on the final loan or they couldn't come up with a dumped down payment. But I had three people with good credit, uh, you know, at the table. And, and now I'm at this point, I'm getting tired of answering the phone every time, every every day, three or four times a day. So I, I'm meeting up with a real, realtor tomorrow. I'm probably going to put it up on the market tomorrow okay. and let it run. Well, what maybe I'm wrong. There. If you can tell me that since this has been almost closed three times. Do you know how much the property appraised for last three times? Uh, when I bought the property, <laughs> I don't know if you've seen the pictures when it first went up for sale two or three years ago, they had it appraised at I think 157 or 147 uh, at two years ago. And you know how much the property has been increased since then. Uh, so yeah, that's what they had it appraised at. But I, I, beat, up, I beat up the taxes stuff pretty bad. Uh, and told him, I said, no way, this, you can assess this house at that price where the, where the original owner was living in it uh, for that price because I'm, I'm gotten it and redoing it, starting to do work to it. And he worked with me, and we had to reduce down to, I think, 60000 until it's uh, 100% again and, and sellable. So uh, for, for, you know, move in, real nice, in condition house. You know, everything done to it, of course. All right. But, yeah, that's what it was the best at. I, I, I think I, he had reassessed, but I think it's 60000 now. Okay. No worries. I appreciate it. Let me look at everything here. I mean, would he take payments on the property? No, I just want to cash off and get okay. it. Okay. And the reason why I'm selling it, I just don't have the time to put into it. Uh, it, was, it was a uh, father-daughter project originally. Of course, the daughter lost interest in it. She wanted it, and now it's going to just turn it over to whatever I had into it. And uh, she's just busy with school and work and everything, and and she just she decided to rent a property instead of trying to work on this property with me and, and fix it up. So uh, that's why I'm really putting it up here on the market. And if we don't sell it, I might keep it as a a vacation home. We're looking to buy property down south, so we might keep it just come visit the kids up here. So I'm not really I don't have to sell it. I'm just throwing it out there, and if somebody gives me the right number for it. Which is ninety ninety eight thousand. That, that's what I want for it, and you know that's where I'm at. All right, but no yeah, worries. You check, 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 check comps in the area. You're gonna see a lot, a lot of comps, a lot less. But the majority of those properties in the area, just FYI, the majority of the properties in that area is, is definitely for bad and well for bad. So you do the math. The majority they want this the final septic system, which is thirty to thirty five thousand dollars for the new septic system. With all the alarms and all the bullshit and fifty hundred dollar engineering um, the drawings you have to take to the valley. <laughs> and the deep wells are running about ten to fourteen thousand, you got two hundred foot. So uh, yeah, if you see a property sold for anywhere from ten to sixty thousand, the majority of them they won't certify the septic or the well or the real estate will you off the side. Hey, they're both bad and that's why they get rid of the property because they can't afford to put the money into it. But, uh, yeah, a lot of properties are like that in that area. All right. To the water to, uh, well, I appreciate it, Mark. Uh, let me look at everything and uh, reach back out. Appreciate it. All right, Zach. Take it easy. Hey, take it easy. 
All right, next one. Hello. Hello, hi. Is this the owner of 100 Tall Timbers Road? Hi, this is uh, Zach. I'm calling on my uh, business cell. So this is a uh, record line. Um, I'm calling to see if you're still looking to sell it. I, I saw this property got listed a uh, while back and I was just seeing if you're still looking to sell it. Uh, yes, yeah, it's a three, uh, three season home. I just wanted to make sure you knew that. Okay. And what, what exact is a three season home? Okay. And what what community is this called? Uh, it's Tall Timbers Campground. All right. Tall Timbers Campground. Okay. And where are the fees on this property? If you don't mind me asking. It's, uh, I think it's about 2400 for the year. And that gets you all the amenities, the two pools, the lake, the game room, all the activities they do. Um, they have a lot for children and adults. And then... Two hundred fifty dollars for the year for taxes because you own the property on the the trailer. Okay, and is the uh, is the land owned underneath it from you, or is it from the community owns it? Uh, we own it. Okay, all right. And I mean, I'm looking at this as a rental, so I, I'm not too familiar uh, with three season uh, type things, but I, I am familiar with rental properties over there, in New Jersey. Uh, for me and my partner to buy, but it's, it's, it looks like cheap real estate to a point, uh, per se of how much you get in rent. So, uh, has this been a short term rental for you in the past? Like what, what's the situation with the property? Yeah, we've been, we've been doing Airbnb for the last two years. Okay. Uh, the first year was kind of a, a test run. You know, I, I, I haven't done it before and we had no reviews or anything. We, we profited about 12,000. Um, and then obviously, I'm sorry, that's not, that's, uh, that's gross. We grossed up around 12,000 and obviously the, you know, maintenance and everything was taken off of that. Um, and then this year we upped it about $50 a, a night, um, and doing really well. And then we have an attached property that's right across the street, uh, which is, I mean, it's not a, it's separate, but it's right across the street. It's a smaller trailer. And we're, we started renting out that one too. So we had two of them going. One of them's going to make about 12000 a small one this year. And the other one's going to be over fifteen. Easy. So uh, this one, so number 85. So that's going to net 85, uh, 15 this year, you said? Oh, uh, yeah, easy. Okay. Huh. And are you getting any uh, pushback from uh, the HOA on that or they're okay with it? We had a little pushback on it. It's kind of at a standstill. Um, we're actually having a meeting on uh, Thursday. And basically, we have it in the master deeds. We have it in this and that. Each village is its own um, uh, condominium. Uh, so there's really only one village that is not allowing rentals and the rest of them. They can't really, they're not going to be able to do anything. Once it's in writing, they, they, all they can really do is just the uh, regulations, which is like a 25 dollar application fee which we're going to work trying to eliminate that as well we don't want the office having anything to do with it because they're starting to kind of interfere yeah and they're dropping the ball on applications and this and that so we should know more thursday okay and we should pretty much be done with it thursday because now lawyers are involved yeah. the mayor of the town's involved like it's a it's a whole thing so i mean trust me i uh, i get you know they don't have a like I get. What's your name? My name's Anthony. Anthony. So Anthony, this is Zach. So I, I've actually owned a bunch of condos in like a resort style like that, where I had the okay. HOA actually try to stopping me. Um, a couple of like I was getting like two hundred dollars a night, and I let them have the key to the pool, and the HOA is like, you can't let that happen. Only own it. like I, I, I've been through this. The reason why I'm asking you is I, I gotta see if I have to go through all that again. Um, because I, these seem like cash cows, right? You buy them for you know. 
60, 50,000 and you can get 125 a night. Like that makes sense. But I just want to make sure I, I don't buy it and then potentially buy it. And then, you know, I get the, I get the HOA up my butt. So, um, that's why yeah, I'm asking. I mean, everything's going to be in writing, I think, probably yeah. within the next week. So after Thursday is going to be kind of the, the town's going to bow down. The town tried to, I think the association tried getting the town involved. They sent us a bogus letter. We went after them with a lawyer. Now they want to have a meeting with the mayor, which sent oh, them my to Lord. Take a step back. You know? Yeah. Uh, they would have told us to just go fuck off if they really, if they really had something on us, but they don't. So, yeah. Uh, I'll know more Thursday, and then once we're settled, everything's going to be put into writing, and then, um, you know, we're also going to make sure things are grandfathered in. They they, they can't get the uh, 51% vote from the entire uh, entire Tall Timbers. Yeah. Uh, so they were trying to do individual votes. And anyway, uh, once that, we're going to get the grandfather clause in there and the whole thing. And nobody's really interested except for two villages wanting no rentals. So, you know, if it's bought prior, that deed's going to go under uh, the grandfathered. Um, it's going to say the same thing because we haven't changed our bylaws on there. Um, and until they do change the bylaws, even if they do get it changed, it, we're, we're going to fight to make sure that, you know, we're, we're going to have it in writing that they can't touch anybody that already owns property before the bylaws are changed. Wow. Which is kind of, I'm hoping, because we're going to try, I, I was like, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. If, if uh, I'll just, I, you can always just check in with me and I'll let you know and, and after Thursday, because I think Thursday is going to open up a lot. Well, I'm okay with that. I mean, I'd rather kind of get my ducks in a row if that's going to happen to buy it cash. Well, let me ask right. you a question, Anthony. So I, I, I might have to move fast on this if it, it would work. I mean, what, if I bought this thing cash, I think it's been listed for a little bit. I mean... Between you and me, I'm, I try to be as no nonsense as I can. If I bought this all cash, closed, quick, I mean, what works for you? Uh, I would do fifty thousand for the large trailer, and if you wanted to go for the small trailer, I mean, we could work something out on that. Maybe twenty to twenty-five. Okay. They both bring in, you know, they both bring in. So. Okay, I mean that's reasonable. I mean, I, the problem. It, I'm looking at my cap rate on this. If I, if I buy it for the Airbnb, I mean, w would you take 40? I I would have to speak to the wife about it, but I mean, it's possible. Okay. I could, pro I think I can do 40, but you, you're a businessman. You understand this. If you can show me the rent rolls, uh, the Airbnb right. rolls showing it, I can do 40. You know, if I, I've bought a lot of Airbnbs from different people. I'm trusting you on this at 15. I, I definitely can make that work. If it's like the vacancy is like insane, I can't, but uh, I trust you. You don't seem like you have a, a reason to lie. So uh, I can do 40. Talk to the wife. Happy wife, happy life. I get it. You know, um, have a conversation with her and let me know how that works. But uh, definitely 40. Uh, I could probably do that cash because at, at four, I'm going to have to move quick. Uh, so get that grandfather clause in. So it uh, seems like something that'll work. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Let me talk to her. Uh, do me a favor and just text me your information, and then I'll, I'll keep in contact with you and definitely let you know what's going on uh, Thursday as well. All right. right, Will do, Anthony. I appreciate it. And then, and do you do uh, you have Airbnbs around Vernon? Right uh, not around no. Vernon, no. Okay. So they're kind of all over, all over the country. I, I have people manage them for me, so it doesn't really matter where I'm know. at. I'm kind of traveling all over the place, right. but... Uh, this seems like something that could work for me. So let me uh, talk to your wife. Uh, what's her name? Uh, her name's Brandy. Okay, Brandy. So if Brandy wants to call me, just yeah, I'll remember her name. I got a pretty good memory. So if it's Brandy on the property in Vernon, I'll, uh, I can remember it. I can talk to her too. So she's comfortable with both of you guys, and uh, we can go forward. Okay, sounds good. All right, appreciate it, Anthony. Have a great one. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. Not bad, not bad. So... Uh, not a crazy reduction, right? Uh, but I can sell this thing all day. Are you kidding me? Uh, 15k net. Let's do the calculations here. If I do a 15k net, if I buy this thing for 40, I mean that is a 37, 38 percent uh, cap rate NOI, and I could definitely up that with like this property. I I could definitely up the things to like 150. Uh, that that could work really well. That that's a good see that. 
that's a good deal right there. Uh, 40 K New Jersey. You own the land underneath it. That's a killer deal right there. I like, I like that. That's a good one. So yeah, that's definitely one I would, uh, that's, that's a good one. So boom, love it. Awesome. All right. So let's get into the next one. Woo. Love to see it. Love to see it. guys. They're sitting out there. People are saying New Jersey is not good guys. New Jersey is good. I'm actually probably going to take that deal myself. So, uh, I like it. All right. Let's see this. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, uh, next one here is going to be 91 West Broadway, Salem, guys. All right. Perfect. Let me give this guy a text. All righty, let's go here. All righty, uh, next call. Uh, all right, let's go check it out. Uh, let's get the number. Uh, rare opportunity to enjoy a truly historic home. Uh, Salem, Jersey, immense five, three. Okay. I don't see the interior, so let's do this. Zoning, uh, high ceilings, which consume, oh my Lord, I need pictures of this house. Yeah, it's hard to give me an offer when I can't see the inside of this property, but we're going to try, you know, we're going to try. All righty. All righty. I don't think we're getting an answer here. No big deal. We'll go to the next one. Oh, I like the full mailboxes. So whenever you get a, a, a seller with a full mailbox, that's usually a good thing. Um, 165. I can compete all repairs at 205. That's so sweet. You'll do the repairs for 40K. Um, all right, let's get a call. Oh, same person, right? Yeah, that's the same person. No big deal. Oh, income on the pizzeria. Oh, a pizzeria. Oh, apartment is a great fixer-upper. Oh, snap. Pizzeria. You know I'm going to buy. I like some pizza. I, I want to see how good this pizza is. Though. All right, first floor. Income monthly is a thousand from the business down below, which is now a pizzeria. Let's look at the pizzeria real quick. Let's see the reviews on this thing. Nico's Pizzeria. Let, let's check this out. Hold up. If I'm going to buy a pizzeria, let's check out the let's, let's check out the pizza. If I'm buying a pizza. Let's see what we got. Nico's Pizzeria Grill and Shops. All right, bet. Okay, go to pizza spot. I like this. Okay. Some mom and pop flavor. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. See, Jersey pizza. I like this. All right, looking happy. Why does a pizza have a grilled chicken platter? Oh, yellow beans for a pizza place. Oh, Lord. Okay. Three meatballs with fries. Okay. Meatballs and fries. This is not my Tony Soprano, uh, New Jersey. Okay. Is that bacon? Oh, Lord, that is not a pizzeria. Fit, wait, did that say fish? 
They have filet of fish sandwiches. Oh my gosh. Uh. What? What pizza place has a fried filet chicken fish sandwich? Oh my God. Oh Lord. This is not. Oh my God. Okay, Nicole. All right, Nicole. I think Nicole's the owner here. She's trying to hype this place up. Uh, they post one price, charge the other. Yeah, I've seen that before. Okay, let's go by recent reviews. Uh, let's go to the newest reviews. Best sandwiches in town. The pizza sauce sucks. Ugh, I can't buy a pizza place like that. And the brothers are very friendly. Okay. Um. Okay, steak and, steak and cheese. Oh, my Lord. If I was on... This would be my okay. Okay, Sean. Um, best sandwiches. This is my go to pizza shop. Grilled chicken. All right. Food doesn't taste the same. All right. Let's just look at that picture here. If I'm going to buy it, if I'm going to wholesale a pizzeria, um, we're going to see this. All right. That is not a pizza place, but. All right. This is like the New York ones, you know, where they sell like everything. I mean, okay, come on. Like this is, okay. They got burritos with beets. Chicken haul. Honestly, that looks really good right there. What is that? Arabic chicken spot. Honestly, that looks good. Okay. Focus, Zach. This is Nico's. New York. Stromboli. Lasagna steak. Okay. Bet. All right. Okay. They got Italian hot dogs. All right. Whatever. Okay. You know what? I'm going to own an Italian place. I'm going to be my own Tony Soprano. I'm going to have my own restaurant. I'm not going to burn it down. Let's do it. All right. King of New Jersey over here. Run my own companies in there. Let's get this going. Let's get it. I'm going to own a pizza place. I love how they said, what did they say on here? Um, income. What's the net though? You know, let's call the pizza shop. You know, let's, uh, let's call the pizza shop. Oh my gosh. All right. Should I do my Jersey accent? Talk like Tony Soprano over here. You looking at me? Once they leave, they suck me back in. I'm having too much fun with this. Sorry. <laughs> I want to buy a pizza restaurant. Come on. Hey, this is Zach. Give me a call back whenever you can. All right, we got it. Guys, honestly, I'm going to be the guy in the back of the pizza shop, okay? In the back of the pizza shop. Come here, little boy. Come here. Come here, little boy. You should wholesale real estate. Let me buy you a slice. We're going to talk about wholesaling. That's going to be my in. That's going to be my in with these kids. Uh, I'm going I'm to buy them pizza at my pizza shop. Talk about wholesaling. All right? I got this. That's my plan. I'm going to be rich from doing that. People are going to send me wholesaling deals from this pizza restaurant. Oh, my God. They got the pictures. All right. Let's look at the pictures here real quick. Then we're going to the next one. I think this will work. Honestly, buy him a slice. Get him in with the go oh Jesus. Oh my God. Okay. <sighs> okay. I mean, these guys these want mom and pop shops that like taste super good. I guarantee there's rats in this place. Oh, Lord. All right. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, I might get in trouble for. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, three hundred is a little insane. My pizza dreams are over. They are crushed. What will I do with myself? I don't know. Honestly, oh guys, FYI, I'm just being funny sometimes. But like, owning a pizza shop is gonna suck. Honestly, the revenues on this thing. Oh my gosh. I do not want to deal with it. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I do not miss on the opportunity to own a very cozy. Sellers are eager. So let's do this. 609-879-9286. All right. Let's call this one. All right. So look at this line right here on this. This is concerning. Hey, this is Zach. Do give me do me a big favor. All right. Oops. Let me call this one. I did the wrong voicemail. Do me a favor. Call me back. Zach, can do me a favor. Call me back. Oops. I had it muted. All right. Call one time. Look at this line right here, guys. Come take a look. Pictures don't capsulate this home at its potential. That is a red flag right there. I don't know if he's got it owned underneath it for a three two. Um, we'll see. Yeah. Okay. It's the right number. Hey, this is Zach. Do me a favor. Please call me back. Thank you. All right. So honestly, if I owned a pizza shop, I think I'm going to have four plasma TVs kind of like this. And I'm going to put Flip with Rick videos on 24-7. It will be the greatest pizza shop of all time. The top revenues. I'll be the king. But yeah, guys, when you see this line, I would probably avoid it. Come take a look. The pictures don't capsulate this home and its potential. That's a red flag. Okay. Pictures are pretty good. They, they show a lot. All right. Let's do a one, one. All right. That's not a bad one right here. You know, um, all right. And yes, my restaurant will have pineapples on the pizza. Okay. If you choose. So we don't discriminate all pizza lovers. We let them all in. Unless you put olives on your pizza. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to fight. Okay. All right. So, uh, we got this one here. Uh, one, one. All right. Not bad. Manufactured house. So FYI for everyone watching this, just so like you get some knowledge with real estate or like if you're doing virtual stuff, this is clearly a mobile or manufactured house. The shingles don't give it away. Just like it's definitely, that doesn't give it away as a manufactured home. Uh, some people might think so, but actually not. Um, what I can see here though is, let me look here. It's got shingle roofing, but it looks like it's on a crawl space. And the way the flooring is, it does look like a manufactured house to me. Uh, I've had an issue on some of these where like the tiles pop. But decent property, right? It's got a clubhouse, little community. Uh, let's see. It says it's a condo. Huh. Well, let's call and see. This looks like a manufactured house. I'm just, I have my suspicion. I can go on the property appraiser and look, but I'm not going to waste my time with that right now. Uh, two. Seven one, three three four eight. And you, you don't want to lie to me about it. Property appraiser usually always has it.
Please leave your message for me. Hey, this is Zach. Give me a call back whenever you can. Thank you. Honestly, I'm like looking at this property here. Yeah, let's go to the next one. All right. 299 New Brunswick. Um, got a price increase. It's where North Brunswick is. Middlesex County. Okay, not bad. All right, let's look at the comps really quick. Yeah, two, two. Let's call. It's always worth to see if there's motivation, right? So guys, I came back from fishing. You guys saw the fishing vlog, right? A lot of these Zillow for sale by owners, FYI, is like fishing. What I mean by like fishing is like, all right. So in the vlog, like we we're fishing like multiple days, caught all this marlin, right? You just cast a little. Sometimes the fish just don't bite. But you cast it like 10, 12 times, you're going to get a nice marlin on there, a sailfish, right? Uh, well, not sailfish over there, but like spearfish, stuff, stuff like that, you know, mahi stuff like it's the same thing right there. Like I'm, I'm throwing the, uh, I'm sorry, throwing the lure. I might not get a bite and a good catch, right? Like I just got to do a lot of like casting to get one, but like that's what, so you guys saw, I got the, I got that one deal for 40 K, right? The cool part about this is this, not every single one like this one, I'm not sure, but it's like you're fishing. Like, I'm not sure if there's a fish there, throw the lure, see if the person's motivated and see if it's a good one. Like that's the way I'm looking at it. It's all a numbers game to a point. You throw enough lures out there, you're going to get a fish, right? Like that, that's kind of, sort of the same way. So, all right, let's, let's get a call. I, I got to see if there's motivation. If there's not, I'm going to end this quick. All right. And FYI, if you think pineapple on pizza is a bad thing, you can take your anchovy, olive, spicy pizza wherever you want, okay? We don't want to hear about your anchovy type pizza, okay? There will be no anchovies at my pizza shop, the wholesaling pizza shop. No anchovies allowed. Sorry, I said I wasn't going to discriminate, but if you have anchovies in your pizza, you're done, okay? I'm not doing it. I'm not even going to do it, okay? I don't get political, but that, that is one political thing I would say. No anchovies on pizza. I love fish, but no anchovies on pizza. Are you kidding me? That is the war crime. That is the true war crime. That is unacceptable. All right. How long has this been list, listed for? Four months? Not bad. Please leave your message. Oh, my Lord. I get answers. No, I don't get anyone answering. What am I going to do? Hello? Sorry. Oh, my gosh. All right. All right. Mailbox full. That's fine. Atlantic City. All righty. Atlantic. Con oh, 401 a month. Whoa. No beer. But yeah. Summer winter rental is allowed. Yeah, all right, we're going to skip this one. If you can't rent that one out, what's the point? Lafayette. Uh, okay. This could be wholesaleable if the land is owned underneath it. Lot rent. Nope. Doesn't own it. If it says lot rent, they don't own it. 
that yeah, that's not even a good deal. That that the lot would have to be owned on that for it to even be a deal. Let's see. All right, let's do it. All right, let's do Polina Way. Seven, three, two, five, six, nine, one, two, o, oh, two. You are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Please try. A lot of full voicemail. A lot of full uh, voicemails today. Interesting, right? Uh, let's see here. Zachary Hamilton says, got some good smallmouth fishing spots in Indiana. Zachary, what happened with that seller? You got to let me know. The anticipation is killing me, Zach. I talked to him Sunday. Uh, he was talking to a seller on Monday. Uh, so anticipation's killing me. Okay? Killing me here. Small bat, love small mouth, small mouth uh, bass fishing. I love bass fishing's fun, guys. If you're in South Florida, peacock bass fishing, oh my gosh, that's so fun. I love all fishing. It's FYI. Like, I'm not, oh, I only like uh, saltwater, crazy big fish. I love the big marlin, but like, guys, I'll tell you, I love the, uh, I, lo I love all fishing, really. I should have vlogged me doing some shark fishing. I think I'll scare some people though. I, I don't want to scare anyone, but those are always fun. I'm a little crazy. All right, let's get the next one here. All righty. Um, it's another mobile home. Three, two. Property tax information. Okay, decent, right? Where are we at? Shawcrest. Oh, that is, is that Atlantic by Atlantic City? Yeah, that's kind of, that's a weird point. Um, Let's call. Oh, where did I, hold up, where am I at? I think I got out of this. Hold up. No, there we go. Let's call it. You've reached the voicemail of Ann Moralia. Please leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, this is Zach. Give me a call back whenever you can. Thank you. All righty, next one. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Uh, Broadway. Bayonne, New Jersey. All right. Three, eight, one. People were answering. Now no one's to answer. Let's keep calling. 
Hey, this is Zach. Please call me back whenever you can. Thank you. Oh, my Lord. All right, this is a renovated property. So, to the next one. Oh, my Lordy, Lordy. All right. All right, let's do some houses. Nice, nice. Mm. Skip the rehab one. Mm, let's do a house. Okay. Bet. Great. Oh, I, this this is one of my favorite listing uh, things they put in there. Great bones. Great bones. Great bones. That's a rough one. Oh, Zach got the deal locked up today. Zach, I talked to you Sunday. I said, make sure you uh, uh, condition the seller. Oh, bro, I want to hear all about it tomorrow, man. That's awesome. Congrats. First of all, congrats to Zach. 17 years old. First deal locked up today. Let's get it. Congrats, bro. Love to see that stuff, guys. If you watched me on the uh, Zach and Channel Sunday, we're talking to him. Uh, first deal under contract. Congrats, man. Love that. Congrats, dude. Love that. Now let's get this thing sold. All right. Uh, hop on tomorrow, Zach. We'll do the one-on-one. I, I'm going to help you get that deal sold. All right. We're going to get that deal sold for as much as possible. Make a bunch of money and then we'll go. All right. Great bones. All right. Oh my Lord. Look at this. Home is a brand new boiler. A full electrical panel. Copper. Heavy cosmetic. Needs a roof. Uh... I mean, rentable at twenty four hundred, paying seven year tenant. Um, all right, let's call. Oh, that was those easy rehab flip. That's a tough one. That's a lot. There's a lot going on there. All right, let's call. Hey, Andrew, this is uh, Zach. I'm calling on my uh, business cell, so it will be recorded. Um, I'm calling here on this listing on uh, 466 Flag Street. Uh, this is the owner, right? I am. Okay. Are you still looking to sell the property? Yes. Okay. I'm not a realtor or anything, by the way. Uh, potential buyer, but I just uh, had some questions on the property here. and uh, So I I've seen the listing here. I, I know it listed around, what, 100 days ago. Um, is there anything different from when you listed it and put the description in today? No. Okay. And all right. Well, I mean, can you tell me a little bit about this property? Like what's going on with it? I kind of read the description. I'm just seeing if there's anything else going on with it. No, it's a pretty straightforward deal. It's a, it's a relatively easy flip. That's what you're looking to do. It's a decent, you know, buy and hold as a rental. It actually even works if you're looking to buy it and occupy it. Uh, house needs a roof, it needs a bathroom, it needs a kitchen if you're flipping it, it's got hardwood floors throughout that need to be refinished, minimal drywall repair, and then all cosmetics, you know, finishing the floors, painting, white fixtures, door knobs, that kind of stuff. Okay. Huh. And it, so it's saying here, uh, it, the re, it was completely rewired 15 years ago. Is that electrical panel 15 years old too? Okay. All righty. And uh, still no leaks on the property? No leaks. Okay. And all right. So just minor cosmetics. So, okay. Anything different with the inside of the property with these pictures are still pretty much the same? Nope. Okay. Nope. Nothing changed. All right. All right. Um, just trying to see here. Okay. And is the tenant, are they month to month or is this a lease on it? No, they moved out. Uh, Oh. Maybe a little bit more, a little less. Okay. So it's there for, they were 10 plus year tenants, maybe. Wow. Years so. Okay. Wow. All right. Is, is there a reason why they left? Is it with the property? Oh, shit. It was a mom and, mom and an adult daughter, and the mom retired. 
Ah, okay. All right. So this property has been vacant for three months then. So. Yeah, give or take. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, this seems like a potential deal for me. I mean, is there a reason why you haven't renovated yourself? Uh, if I don't get my number, I'm going to renovate it myself. Got it. Okay. And what's your number? Okay. I mean, what, what what's the real number? I mean, it's it's been listed for a while, so that's that's why I'm asking. So just, I mean, what what number works? There's a little bit of room to move. There's a little bit of room to move. There's not a lot of room to move. I mean, okay. You know, if you're looking to lowball it, it's probably not the property for you. Um, you know, okay. I'd probably take the high one sixties. You know, but that probably would be it. I probably wouldn't take anything else. Okay. I mean. Do you get any estimates from a GC or anything like that of the full renovation cost to bring it up? I'm a GC. Uh, oh, you are. You know, my, yeah, I would. I'd say you're probably looking at around forty grand. You know, maybe forty-five if you really want to kind of splurge on it. But you know, the mechanicals are all good. The structure is good. The floor is brand new. Roof? The is brand new. Roof is shot. The roof is not leaking, but it's shot. It's the forty including the roof. Okay. Well, I, I trust your stuff. You probably know a lot more than me with the uh, general contracting. So I, I kind of just put the bill on it, uh, do it with the rental. So, okay. If it's, yeah, I, I probably want, if I got to put 40 into that and then rent it out 2,400, I mean, I, I probably won't be able to help you out there, but I mean, good luck with it. Um, all right. No worries. I mean, would you take payments on the property? Sorry? Would you take payments on the property? Uh, you'd have to have a substantial down payment, like you know, fifty percent or better. Okay. Like, really not, you know, and we'd hold we'd, we'd hold the deed. You know, I, I don't want to go through a foreclosure process. You know. So yeah, I understand. All right. Well, best of luck to you on selling it. Thanks, man. All right. Have a great one. Not much motivation from that guy. I mean, that's a general contractor. So, I mean, it's just hey, you throw the lure, you see if they bite, right? No bite there, so whatever. All right, let's keep going. Woo! Love it. Already got a good deal on this one today. So we're just, uh, everything's icing on the cake today with these calls. 199, Sewell. Hmm. We'll call this one, see what's going on with it. Let's see what the HOA is. I'll just call and see. Hey, this is Zach. Give me a call back whenever you can. Have a great one. Thank you. Uh, solar panels. Okay. Solar. Oh, it's a solar lease. Oh, my Lord. All right. Oh, these are Tesla panels. That's actually not, not that's those things actually have they keep their value. Okay. Um, all right. Do I have a phone number though? Probably not, right? Let's see. No phone number. Oh, yeah, we do. Perfect.
So you reach me originally. I'm not available at this time, but please leave your name and the number you can be reached at, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, this is Zach. Please give me a call back whenever you can. Thank you. Oh, I think I see a dog. That's a good dog right there. It's a nice dog. And uh, what's going on there? Is someone living there, sleeping there? That's a, that's a little creepy. Oh, geez. All right. Next one. Oh, colonial style. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. I like it. 143 Main Street. Not bad. Not bad. Let's see what we got here. All right. This is looking a little haunted. Not going to lie. Okay. Okay. Definitely some TLC. If I were looking at a house like this, like you see the cracked, uh, like it doesn't take an expert going to these properties and looking at it. But like, as you can see, right. Uh, you just got some cracked tile on this, right. Some little paint. I mean, just FYI, if you see something like, I mean, this needs to be painted. You need some painting here. Like it definitely needs some, co uh, yeah, needs some cosmetics. It's looking nasty. Okay. Honestly, not too bad. Just the baseboards are all shot here. Uh, need, just needs new flooring. Guys, just I hope everyone understands this. Like even if you're a beginner, like I hope everyone can agree. Like the flooring here is not updated. That's not modern standards. That's not, you know, just that, that needs updating, right? Like just nothing crazy. Uh, so let me check my audio before I call. Let's check if the audio is good on this. I just got to give a quick check on these. So, yep, audio is perfect on it. Looks like a newer toilet or the toilet's not working. Yeah, it's probably just in general. Yeah, all right. Tall grass. I, see, guys, just if you're drying for dollars too, oops, what do we got here? If you're drying for dollars too, guys, just understand, like this is enough for tall grass. I would still put that on my list because the outside looks a little weird. That's definitely a good drying for dollars thing right there. Uh, if you guys are going to be drying for dollars and stuff, that's definitely a good one. Uh, let's go around here. Yeah, that's tall grass. Like that, I would trigger that as tall grass or drying for dollars all day, all day, every day. Oh, ew. All right. Got a little shed out of the shining. That's great. All right. We got a whole Stanley uh, Kubrick, Kubrick house going here. Film another uh, horse scary movie on this. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get this going. Four, seven, seven, three, nine, one, four, zero, four. So we got Thank you for calling. At this time, all of our agents are currently insisting. Please leave your name, number, and a detailed message. One of our agents will contact you as soon as possible. This is Zach. Please give me a call back. That's as detailed as I want to be. <laughs> That's my quote unquote detailed message. So, <laughs> all right, let's go back here, get calling some more. Well, tallish grass. I, I, I would probably, yeah, I'd probably put that on drawing for dollars list, honestly. Mm. This is a mobile manufactured. This might be mobile manufactured, but also just might be an old house. New Jersey's weird with that. Whole Northeast. Okay. All righty. All righty. Nice. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Built in 1955. It might be a single family. Easily enough for a 3-2, but it's not a 3-2. He can be converted. 
All right, 856. A lot of these properties, when they have the septic, FYI, so this is like for repairs and stuff. Some properties with septic tanks need to get replaced and they might cost like five, eight, 10, 15 grand. And a lot of sellers like don't like telling you that. Uh, that's something you got to always sort of check with the cash buyer. Usually the cash buyers understand that uh, just for FYI for everyone out here, just so you know. All right, let's get Colin on this one. All righty. Eight, five, six, Please leave your message for eight five six four four nine nine five two three. Hey, this is Zach. Give me a call back whenever you can. Thank you. All righty. Not bad, not bad. All righty. Ooh. All right, so this looks like the land might not be owned underneath it. Give a call. Hey, this is Zach. Give me a call back whenever you can. Thank you. All righty. Let's go back out of here. 45 grand. Okay. All right. I love the whole winter aesthetic vibe on this. Looks pretty good though. What's up with these people? Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Driving me crazy. All right, keep calling here. We got here a 3 1. As is, investor property will not answer calls, only texts. Let's see how serious you are about that rule, buddy. Uh, he might pick up here. 
Let's see what he's got. <laughs> oh, no answer. Yeah, he's, I guess he was serious about that. Who knows? All right, 65. Shore home is right here. Okay. Let's call. See here. Oh. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Let's do one more. Let's see what we got here. Hey, this is Zach. Give me a call back whenever you can. Thanks. All right, let's see this really quick. Is phone working? Hold on. I think it's working, right? Yeah. Huh. Let's see this really quick. Yeah, it's fine. All right. Let's answer some questions, guys. Let's uh, let's get some questions going here. We got a lot of questions here about what I'm doing, uh, stuff like that. So let's go here. So Armaeus uh, has a good question here. What would you say in your uh, text as a pitch? The thing is, it's really hard to pitch over text, like extremely hard. So I probably wouldn't pitch over text. What I probably do in this situation is text them. I'm looking to buy the house. Please give me a call back. The communication over the phone, like over the phone versus over text is completely different. I see people saying, oh, you should only close over text and all, all the guys it drives me crazy when people do that. You'll get the least amount of money per deal. The volume doesn't even make it up. I would tell you if that's a good way to do it, and it's not. My team doesn't do it. Not like, no, okay. Doesn't work at all. All right, let's see. So he just says, how do you legally split your assignment with a realtor? I have a realtor bringing me a buyer, but wants a 2% commission. Not bad. So the thing is they can't, all right. So you could technically, technically pay a commission if you really want to, right? Um, if they bring you a buyer though, more or less like, all right. So if I have a deal and I give it to a realtor, they can't pay me a commission on it, but there's like loopholes they can pay you a marketing fee. So let's say 10% commission of a hundred thousand is 10,000, right? If they pay me 10% of the listing, that's not legal, right? A lot of realtors say that's illegal. It's bad, terrible. But if they gave you a $10,000 flat fee or $9,999 or $10,001 uh, flat fee for marketing or marketing fee for you for a service, that's legal schmeagle. That's it's all good to go. So just understand like the, the realtor rules are stupid and terrible. And I, I think it's like crazy, but that's how the realtors like it. That's the way they do it it's beyond me, but that's what they like doing. Uh, so just FYI on that one, uh, I would just do a flat fee. If I was going to pay them 
three, four, five grand, something like that. That's how I pay my realtors usually. Uh, Luis has a good one there. Uh, yeah, in New Jersey, a lot of oil tanks, stuff like that. New, uh, New, New York, New Jersey up there, uh, New Hampshire, all that stuff. Let's see. Uh, I want to start, but I don't know. I'm 16 years old. This is an easy one. If you're 16 years old right now, you need to just focus on one thing. And that is talking to sellers, pulling lists and stuff like that. So if you're brand new, okay, this is pitch time for Zachary. I'm not even pitching anything. It's, it's free. I'm literally paying you money basically to get this stuff, right? It cost me a ton of money to make these videos, stuff like that. Freewholesaling.com is my free real estate wholesaling course where I'll teach you absolutely for free. There's a 30 day wholesaling challenge where you can basically from day one all the way to 30, every single day for 30 days straight, a challenge, uh, basically a how-to guide of wholesaling real estate of what to do, right? Day one, what to do, learning more and more about the concepts. Like basically go from zero deals all the way to a deal, guys. You've got to go to freewholesaling.com. That's where it's all at. Freewholesaling.com. You learn wholesaling for free. It's wholesaling.com, but it's free. Freewholesaling.com. I tried buying wholesaling.com. Uh, but the owner is, uh, he's not even answering me. I, I, I've literally emailed the guy like a hundred times. Crazy. So for now, we're at freewholesaling.com. I usually don't tell people that, but I was like, you know what? The, you know, this guy's being so crazy. Uh, he's just holding on to it. I don't know why, but yeah, go to freewholesaling.com. If you're 16 right now, trying to get into this game, I'm telling you, if you are 16, if you're 16 right now, the ultimate way right now is go to freewholesaling.com and learn this business. That is going to be the best, most efficient way uh, to learn this business. And I, I'm telling you, that's going to give you the best example. Um, it's literally free, guys. Um, I, I don't know why everyone says it, guys. Um, I did increase prices. Uh, I didn't announce that Sunday. I, I am increasing the price of freewholesaling.com. I by double. I'm doubling my price at freewholesaling.com. So I did the calculations. I did zero times two equals zero. So everything is, do I double the price due to inflation. So we went from $0 to $0. I double the price. It's crazy. I might even put it to the fifth power. That's how crazy I am, how uh, much I'm going to increase the price. But um, it's true, guys. You know, uh, I, I, it's all for free, guys. And shout to uh, Howard taking the challenge currently. Uh, anyone can take the challenge. It's all pastry yourself. So it, it's all really cool. Um, Here's my favorite. The bad, the bad guy says this, you know, my mentor is having me pursue only seller financing deals. Do you agree with this? Your mentor's stupid. If your mentor's charging information, they're being dumb and they need to get smart and give everything out for free. If they're charging for money, they don't have enough money themselves. They're probably, honestly, they're, they're, they're probably broke. I'm just being honest with you. Like a lot of gurus trying to sell, a lot of them are broke. They don't make actual money. They only make money selling courses. It's, just, it's crazy, guys. If your mentor is telling you only to do seller financing deals, that's a seller financing mentor. Fine, whatever. Like, he probably is not. He's probably not running a legit real estate wholesaling operation. And I can almost guarantee, I, I'll give you a ninety percent chance that someone's telling you only to do seller financing deals. Pretty much, there's only a few people I know that are legit. But most people that tell you only do seller financing, uh, pretty fraud. Um, that, that's my opinion, though. But. My opinion is usually pretty right, uh, but I, I, I'm not saying that arrogantly, but like that, that, that is stupid. Okay. I don't know why I'd even answer that. That, that, that. that is such a stupid question. And I'm not even calling that a stupid question, but like, actually it's, it's not a stupid question. The honestly, the, the strategy is stupid. So I'm not saying you're stupid for asking the question. I, it's a, it's, I, it, it's so stupid for someone to even tell you to only do one thing. Like, it's like if someone tell, goes to the gym, right, and says you should only do squats. That's the oh, you should only squat, skip everything, only do squats. Real estate investing, or like wholesaling, or like the real estate investing industry is like a gym. You know, like if you really want to look at it, right, your cardio, cardio, you got your weights, you got all this stuff, right. I'll call wholesale, wholesaling. I, I would call it I don't know, the bodybuilding. I don't know what, what you call it, but like guys, if you're only doing squats, right. You have huge legs, but like, it, it's kind of weird. You know, I, that makes no sense. Right. Like I just, I, I don't get that strategy. I think it's a stupid strategy and you should not pay a mentor. Okay. Whenever I see someone start with my mentor, I know the next thing's probably gonna be a little crazy unless I'm your mentor. 
and you're watching this, you're already my student. If you're watching any of my free stuff, you're already my student. Okay. Cause everything's for free. All right. This is the inside of my course. It's like you're watching it right here. You know, um, it, it's crazy. Caleb's like, should I work with a met? No, no, don't. No, my mentor's providing properties and there's 34 is working on there, but we sell, we split. I mean, do whatever you want, guys. I would say 90% of all real estate wholesaling gurus are completely fraudulent. Like completely, completely. Caleb says, should you sell to hedge funds? Of course you should. And the thing is like, how do you find hedge fund buyers? How do you find all at freewholesaling.com? I have all the modules in there, okay? It's the one-stop shop. It is the largest real estate. It is the largest real estate. I I, I don't know if anyone knows. It is like Alexa ranking kind of went away, but it, it's kind of true though. Still, freewholesaling.com by members is the largest website for real estate wholesaling on the planet. I think bigger pockets for real estate's bigger than us, but like pretty much in real, like freewholesaling.com has the most like watch time on it, screen time, uh, the average time on site, like, it crushes every other metric. Uh, freewholesaling.com is actually the largest real estate wholesaling website on the planet. Uh, it's crazy, right? I have the largest mastermind in the country. Like I, guys, it's large because this stuff works. Okay. You do not have the largest real estate wholesaling course in the country without the stuff working. Okay. And we do. It's crazy. Like it, it's ridiculous uh, that you got to change this metric guys. The, the mentorship's right there in freewholesaling.com. I'll let everyone talk to me one-on-one -on -one for free. It, it works. Okay. Just FYI. Uh, Caleb, what is up? What is an acceptable, uh, what is acceptable when paying a realtor for bringing a buyer? Let's say it's a smaller assignment fee. If you're making five to 10 K spread, give them a quarter, right? I would give them two or three K really like it, your assignment fee is not that big. And if you're making 20, 30, I like to give a flat five because I like, I like actually paying my realtors well, but I think five's not bad. I, I actually, I don't think five's really bad at all. Um, no. So you know, I, I don't think fives, I, I like paying five, but like I, I, I'm, I'm making 30, 35, 40 on it. So just FYI, let's see here. So I'm getting asked here from AO Prime, you know, starting out, what are some of the best markets right now? The best markets right now are markets with ARV under 250,000 and the county population at least 100,000. Now I will add this in. This is something new. I've I've kind of been doing some like through the JVs and you know, stuff like that. I'm kind of looking a little more. You know, I would probably say right now, um, I would probably want the city to at least have forty to fifty thousand people. I that that would be my preference for you guys. At least 40, 50 k, uh, forty fifty thousand people in there. That'd be my opinion. But yeah, let's see here. Let's see. So Boxley builds got a good, good question. Now, how do you figure out ARV running comp stuff like that? Guys, I really only run ARV and comps to a point is when I get a qualified lead. When I'm cold calling, I'm qualifying the lead while I'm going through it, right? Uh, most of the time, I, I can kind of do the comps on the fly while I'm looking at the property. I, I do know these markets sort of well to a point. Um, I, I can, a lot of the comps I'm doing off of cash flow, uh, because they're so cheap and that, that's where I'm coming. With, like the ones that I did today, I did it off the cash flow. Like, all right, 15 count on Airbnb, buy it for 40. I probably sell this thing for 50, right. Or even 45, make five, 10 K get it in and out. Boom. Right. That's how I sort of do the math on there and it works, right? Like guys, I'm a lot more advanced. Uh, I've put my 10,000, 10,000, multiple 10,000 hours in this business. Right. Uh, so like I eat, eat, live, breathe the stuff. Like I do this all the time. I do this for fun, right? I wholesale real estate for fun. I talk guys, literally I run a regular wholesaling real estate operation, like, you know, eight to four, nine to five, right? Like, like really, right. Five to like seven, five to eight, right. When I'm doing videos and content, like this is, this is my hobby. Hope everyone will like, this is my hobby. Okay. This isn't like a business at all. Okay. This, this is a hobby. All right. I'm running all my other operations, multiple businesses outside of real estate, right? I do a lot. Okay. I'm all over the place, but it's fun. I, I really enjoy it. Uh, I got this, but like, this is a hobby. Okay. So this is why I do my fun. Like guys understand, like I do this business for real and I, I, I do a lot of it. Right. So, uh, yeah, I, 
kind of do on the fly, but if you have a qualified seller, do the proper comp stuff like that from there. Uh, least. So this is a good question. What's the least amount of profits you take on a deal, Zach? Now, I would honestly say the least amount I take on a deal or profit to be a dollar. And what I mean by that, if I have somebody that I'm trying to help out with a deal and I was only making a dollar, I'll make a dollar, right? The least I've ever made on a deal was a thousand. I think Rick's done a $500 one. No, I made 500 bucks. Someone gave me a kickback on um, on something once. That was 500, but really like a Simon deal like me, no JVing, like a, a grand. And that was just a stupid virtual deal. I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let's make a grand, right? Like, I, th I think that was like three years ago, but yeah. Uh, so the actual info asking 85 repairs, 45. Um, let's do the math on this one. So ARV, let's say 150, all right, 150 ARV minus 45 repairs and multiply that by 80, right? We're going to use the stuff at freehosting.com. 84 looks like a deal there, right? Hmm. ARV might be a little high on this one. I would, where are you on this one though? So you are 52, meet in the middle of 55. That'd be my best advice, Christina. I would probably do 60 if you can though. Why not? Yeah, Caleb, I would go through freeholcing.com. Talk to me on the one-on-ones. Caleb, I do one-on-ones Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Fridays, all right, that's four, all right? Sundays and Mondays, six days a week. No, no, not Tuesdays, right? So Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Sundays, Mondays. So five days a week, I do one-on-ones, uh, FYI. So you can hop on, talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, five days a week. Today is a Tuesday. I don't do that. I do the calls on Tuesdays. You can talk to Caleb. You can talk. This is weird for a lot of people that are used to the guru game, right? You guys, everything you know about wholesaling education and knowledge when you watch my stuff, throw that out the window, okay? I give everything out for free. Everyone gives their advice for free in the comments, and we help you out. I'm a seven-figure wholesaler that gives my advice absolutely for free. Now, what I can tell you right now is I will literally mentor you one-on-one -on -one absolutely for free, Caleb. I promise you that. I will literally mentor you one-on-one, -on -one, get your first deal absolutely free. I'll make you a million, give you millions of dollars in assignment fees absolutely for free. I don't want your stupid guru money, okay? I'm not a stinking nasty guru, Okay. I want to talk to you one-on-one -on -one for real. I want to help you out. So Caleb, on Wednesdays, just tomorrow, so go to Wholesaling Houses for Real. Let me put the link in the YouTube chat for you. Wholesaling Houses for Real. And a lot of people starting out watching me like, oh gosh, uh, he's, he's going to hit me with the pay. Pay, pay for this to learn that, to get this information out. All my information's free, okay? All my information's free. Sometimes I have a link on the bio for a software. You don't have to pay for it, Okay. That's not information. That's software. A lot of people need software for getting started, and that's fine, right? A lot of people need software getting started in wholesaling, and like, right, right, like that's fine for virtual, like pay for stuff, you start scaling, that works. Use the link, get a free trial, right? But the information is free, so I recommend. So right here, Caleb, I want you to say yes that you have this. Right here is the Facebook group, www.facebook.com/groups/slash. Wholesaling houses for real. And every, if Shannon's watching this, any of these people watching, like you can hop on too. Like everyone's invited. Everyone's invited. Talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, okay? Facebook.com slash groups slash wholesaling houses for real. Just go search wholesaling houses for real on Facebook. That'll pop up. Join the group on the feature. It'll be pinned every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday, and Monday. You can talk to me absolutely one-on-one -on -one for free. Like I'm, I'm calling Shantina. I don't think I've talked to Shantina one-on-one. -on -one. Love to talk to her, see how she's doing her business the right way or him the right way and how I can help them out. I'd love to, love to help everyone out here. Okay. I didn't talk to Matthew before here, but like, guys, you're all invited to talk to me one-on-one. -on -one. I want to help everyone out. Everyone's invited. Okay. Everyone. So love to help everyone out. Let me know that Caleb is able to uh, hop on there. But yeah, and nobody cares what you look like. Nobody cares how you talk. No. Guys, this is a judgment-free zone. I promise you that. Okay, if if this 22-year-old idiot can go scream in a microphone for two plus hours, no one's going to care about what you look like, what, what you sound like, any of that stuff, okay? 
I, I, I kind of do the stupid idiot, idiot stuff for you. All right. No one's going to care. I just want to help. I want to talk. Um, I do the free one-on-ones. I don't want any money. I, it's all at freeholstling.com. All that stuff's in there. Holstling house is for real. It's pinned on the top. I tell everyone, even if you join the group, I'll show you on the live actually how to hop on, talk to me. I can't make it any easier for you guys to get mentored for free. I don't know any, if there's any other way, easier way to mentor you for free, let me know. Uh, but I do run a legit business. So I do time block two hours a day, seven days a week to help you guys for free. I time block 14 hours a week of just free stuff to give away. That is my charity back to the wholesaling industry. I do other charities and stuff, but like that is my time I give out, right? I found a charity giving money works a lot better than giving time, uh, but I do dedicate 14 hours a week usually to content to give out to you guys to learn wholesaling for free because I started on this business broke and it changed my life. So I want to give 14 hours a week of just value knowledge. I'll probably go live five days, about like 10-ish hours, now four, like nine hours on lives. And then I have five hours, which I usually just do videos and comments and stuff like that, right? So yeah, uh, that's what I do. That's my schedule. That's how I want to help people out. Free 99, <laughs> like that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Shaquilla says, Hey Zach, I got my code violation list, but didn't get the zip codes to skip trace them in batch leads. What should I do? My market is in Maryland on day 15. I would ask the code enforcement department if they have the zip codes. If not, you're going to have to manually search them and the zip code will pop up. So if it's 143 Main Street in uh, Maryland City, you're going to have to actually search it and the zip code will pop up right there. Unfortunately, it's probably what you're going to have to do. So shocker for Martin. Martin says, my problem is getting buyers. Oh, Mar Martin or Martian? Is that Mars? I don't know. All right. Uh, if your problem is getting cash buyers, there, there's a very common, very broken down, easy way to finding cash buyers. Either you co-call the four rents on Zillow. Either you go out and you go on Facebook and find them. At freeholson.com, I teach that entire process. And then last but not least, okay, you go to listrei.com or zachdata.com actually pull an actual list of cash buyers. I uh, can do that too, zachdata.com. I'll kind of break down that entire process. Malik says, do you ever address sellers by name in your pitch? Uh, yeah, I, I, I love saying their name in the pitch. That, that's one thing I think, I probably don't talk about enough, honestly, but I probably should. But yeah, I, I, I talked, I say the seller's name. Well, you know, John, I don't know if I can do this. See, I sort of bring it, oh, you know, Mary, Sally, whatever the name is, right? I usually put that in there. So yeah, just FYI. It is psychologically, I think that's from the book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. But it is actually in that book that if you say the name, uh, if you say someone's name multiple times, they will think you're cooler uh, and they will like you more. And for sales, you actually get a better chance of getting the deal. Statistically, if you look at psycho psychology, if you say someone's name, they usually perk up and it's very interesting for them. Even if, like even with celebrities, right? So it's really cool. Even a celebrity that might be like the most famous person in the world, right? If I go to Sean Diddy Combs, right? He's walking down the street, super popular. He knows everyone's screaming his name. If I say, hey, Sean, psychology, you actually look at celebrities. They'll look back and look at you. LeBron James does this too. Uh, if you're walking by LeBron James and you just say, hey, LeBron or LeBron, he's going to look. And why would someone like that so famous and popular look? He's still going to look, okay? It's not because he's trying to be nice. It's just, it's psychological. Whoa, 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 he's saying my name. What does he want, right? Even though this is shock, a lot of people don't know this. You actually got to look at their, like, it's crazy, but it actually works. I've uh, met Dwayne Wade a couple times. When you say Dwayne, his, his head, like, look back and, you know, I, 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 I saw him on the street once, hey, Dwayne looks like right uh it, it's really it's a weird hack uh but it work, actually works really well hopefully you get some information from that uh hopefully you use that psychological trip trick for wholesaling and making money uh but it's a really interesting it's actually a really really interesting uh psychology hack uh yeah pretty cool juju i appreciate all the help and knowledge you gave to the community uh i've still given to the community uh, i have some questions i recently got my first deal locked up congrats juju and after doing some work, taking notes, watching videos, and doing the course, awesome. Congrats on that, Juju, getting your first deal. That's a huge accomplishment. 
a huge shout out to you. Love it. Appreciate it. Uh, congrats. Awesome. Congrats, man. Uh, taking some notes. Hop on the one-on-ones. I'll kind of help you find a cash buyer. Display the deal too. Yeah. Uh, E-Man says, I want to start, but I don't know how, and I'm 16 years old. For Holson.com. I think I already answered that one, right? Yeah, I think I already answered that one. So C-Note, it's got to go in Nathan, right? Um, and Macon says, I'm noticing a lot of super distressed properties and I'm getting under contract. None of the buyers are interested in my market. Am I doing something wrong? So no, Macon's actually a popular market. There's plenty of buyers there. What you need to do is go back to the buyer and say, hey, why aren't you look at why aren't you wanting and buy it? This is a really important one. Uh, I think one thing I could tell you is it's like, all right, so if I'm running a pizza shop, right, and it's not going well, and if someone's giving me a bad review, why do people run surveys so they know? So if I'm going to go cash buy and say, I'm not buying this deal, most wholesalers like, okay, he's not going to buy this deal. Oh, terrible, right? Truly, you go to a cash buyer and like inquire with them, right? Like interview them, right? Interrogate them. Why aren't you looking to buy this deal? You're looking to buy rentals, right? Why aren't you looking? Oh, this is too high. It needs to be at this price. If you just ask them a little more about it, most of the time they're going to tell you why. And it it works really well. So I, I would tell you guys to be doing that, right? Um, that's a huge one. You let the secret out. I say a name a lot. Got from the book, How to Win Friends. And it's not, it's actually not like, so guys, so like on the bottom here, we have mailingmastery.com. Mailing Mastery, that's my free direct mail course. I have a lot of direct mail acquisitions in there, which I think if even if even if you don't use direct mail, I think it's a really good one still. Even if you don't like direct mail, it's actually a really good one. Okay. Because even the acquisition stuff in mailingmastery.com is not even in freeholson.com. It's, it's amazing, guys. Mailingmastery.com, guys. It's free direct mail course. Even if not in, even in direct mail, I think you should go through it still. Just so you understand how sellers, stuff like that work. Mailingmastery.com. I say that more in that course than anything. Because uh, I want to help the higher end wholesalers that do a lot of like, they're doing some more direct mail. I want to learn that. Because every guru and their mom tries to sell you this crazy course on direct mail. And I was like, well, we don't really have a direct mail course. We made a direct mail course just for that. Uh, mailingmastery.com. It's a master direct mail, right? But that has a lot of that stuff out there. That's why I got through all my stuff. It's all in there. It's all free. And I could probably charge you five grand for it, right? Uh, three grand. Let's say three. All right. Let's call it two, $2,999, right? 97, right? Make it a guru price. I'm telling you, like all the great stuff's in there. A a neated, a nighted, what's up? It says, okay, I register on Proption for knowing about your website, Zach. Can you give a discount in your next video? Uh, there's no discount. There's just a free trial and that's listoria.com. I don't really care. Use whatever, when you want, right? Uh, Ducky Momo. I like the name, I like the name. Okay. <laughs> Appreciate using Zach with an H. Uh, hey, Zach. Can you tell us more about the tax side of wholesaling? So that FYI, if you will, I have a whole video on how taxes work for wholesaling real estate. This will be a shocker. It is at freewholesaling.com. FYI, freewholesaling.com. Telling you right now, it's all in there. Uh, but I, I don't want to make 100K and get sued. The IRS won't sue you. You're going to have to pay taxes on that. If you're making 100K, you can get an accountant. They're really cheap. Honestly, they'll tell you how much you own taxes, how to do it. Um, yeah, I would say get an account which you're making some money, but you'll be fine. Uh, Jay, what's up, Jay? Uh, looking at a mobile manufactured home in my market. Seller wants around 77000 for it. No comps, however, the land isn't owned. Uh, Jay, for my mobile home, like I kind of break down mobile homes, I'll have videos on it. Generally, if the land isn't owned underneath it, I'm not interested. And that's honestly the truth I figured out a while ago. I, I, I'm not going to be interested in it if the land's not underneath on it. So if they're all saying the work is not too much, then you either got to get it down lower or do different type of cash buyers that want to flip. So I go to prop stream and do the, and the flippers tab at freeholsting.com and break it down. Zachary Hamilton says, I live in a small area here in Indiana and what worked for me so far is making the buyers are looking for before. Yes, that works really, really well. Also guys, FYI, um, I am still answering all messages and comments on the YouTube videos. Um, I kind of been busy the past month. 
uh, doing some uh, like other business ventures, but I'm back on it. So even if I didn't answer a comment from two months ago, I'm still answering all YouTube comments. So I do recommend if you have a question and you couldn't get to get it today, make sure you submit it at um, below. Make sure you comment below. I'm answering all comments. I will be doing it chronologically. So if you if you comment like right after the video, tonight I'll probably answer that comment. I have a lot more free time now. I some crazy ventures I had to deal with, uh, but that is kind of done with. And oh, all right. So like I'm not gonna break it down too much. This is a wholesaling video, but like it's a it was a big business type thing. Uh, me and Rick were working on really hard. And I just kind of put my efforts and like my time into it. But now it's running passively. I'm good. And no, it's not FBA. It's not none of that stupid stuff. Okay. It's legit like operations. But like I had to put my hours setting it up and then I got people working in it and they, they kind of do all the stuff for me. Uh, so, but yeah, I had to do that. So now I have a lot more free time. So I still will always answer every single YouTube comment. It might have been, you know, a couple of weeks I haven't answered a YouTube comment, but I'm back on. Even if you, did a comment from three weeks ago or I will be answering it. Okay. So ask your questions in the comments too. You watch, you watch a video from four months ago, ask a question. It pops up on my thing of all unanswered comments and I answer them all, even on all uh, of everything there. So yeah. So if you're confused about having both contracts signed, only do the purchase and sale, then send it to the title company. You should go to freeholsling.com. It all breaks it down in there. Uh, you're awesome. Uh, thanks for offering the wealth and knowledge for free. Of course, Alex says, I try to contact you and Rick about the probate. Uh, probate course is in freeholsling.com. Uh, we have all the templates and stuff in there. It's all at freeholsling.com. Let's see. Well, Caleb, I can't accept you in the group. I'm on my live right now. All right. Tonight, okay, I'll, I'll accept the people in the group. I, gotta, I, I, tr I try to get all the spammers out of the group first. I have some criteria on there. So, Caleb, if you just submitted it... I it's me. Okay. I got to accept you in there. And I'm, I'm obviously talking right now. I, I can't go on the computer and do it, but I'll do it. Don't worry. So let's answer this one really quick. This is a good one. Uh, what if the seller tries to back out of the agreement if it's signed? So you got to understand why a seller gets out of an agreement. Usually you haven't followed up enough. Okay. That, that's number one. Usually uh, the seller hasn't, uh, you haven't followed up the seller enough. Number two, either you they're getting other offers or number three, like they're just not comfortable with you and you got to figure out which one it is. Another one is the title company isn't following up enough with it. You have to understand and see what those are and then get back to me and I can kind of help you out from there. We, we saw a, we have a video. What if this actually, let me pop the video up for you. Um, what if go to YouTube for you? I'm just going to search it and it'll probably pop up right here. What if seller back out of it's also in freeholding.com, obviously. All right. Yeah, this is a good video right here. Rick did like a 20 minute video on this. It's really, really detailed. Uh, you'd like it. So put that in the comments right here. Boom. All right. Uh, I think it's in there, right? Yeah. Uh, Rick will kind of tell you a face to face meeting is probably gonna be your best thing. And he kind of breaks down how to do it, scripts, all that stuff. Like, guys, we don't lay out here to, uh, you know, be in trouble. We, we teach everything about free wholesaling on there and we kind of show you on there. So, guys, uh, that's it, guys. So, if you got any value from this video, do me a big favor. Make sure you smash the like button and subscribe. Uh, make sure you comment below any questions you have. And then, most importantly, so if you ask a question on this live and didn't answer it, ask that same question in the comments and I will answer it. So FYI for everyone on here. Uh, so I might not get to all of them on the live, but when I'm home, I can kind of get through it during my free time. So FYI, just answer the comments below. I'm here to help. Most importantly, guys, we do go live Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Sundays, and Mondays, um, all different channels. Make sure you go to the community tab on Flip with Rick on the YouTube channel. I have multiple YouTube channels, uh, all doing different type of content for wholesaling. I'll have their own different vibes on them. The main ones is Flip with Rick, but there is multiple ones. There's the Flip with Rick YouTube channel. There's the Zach Ginn YouTube channel, more personal stuff for me. There is the Rick Ginn YouTube channel, personal videos, exclusive videos from him and me on the Zach Ginn one. Then we have a Wholesaling Houses for Real YouTube channel, which has a lot of great clips from the lives and great clips from the coaching calls I do. Uh, most people don't see those, and that's really cool. So make sure you do all of them. Flip with Rick, Zach Ginn YouTube channel, Flip with Rick YouTube channel. 
uh, Rickin YouTube channel and then the Wholesaling House for Real YouTube channel to search it, pop them up on there, and uh, we'll see you soon. Let's play the video for freewholesaling.com and we'll see you soon. Have a blessed one, guys. Boom. See ya. Hey guys, Zach in here from Flip with Rick. And after helping tens of thousands of people get started in wholesaling real estate and helping so many people out go from $0 to $100,000 in wholesaling real estate, I'm super excited to announce my new wholesaling mastery course. This wholesaling mastery course will have everything step-by-step -step on the whole entire wholesaling processes. I'm gonna give you real deal examples. I'm gonna hold your hand throughout the whole wholesaling process. This course will give you everything you need to know to make up to 100,000 to over a million dollars per year in wholesaling real estate profits. Most real estate gurus out there will charge you around $5,000 for a course like this. But today, if you click on the link, you will get my wholesaling mastery course for the low price of sell out. What? What are, you, what are you doing? What, what are you doing? What do you mean? I knew you would do this. I knew you were going to go the course route with the guru. It goes against everything we've preached from day one. Don't be a sellout. The course is free. What? I'm, the course is free. I'm giving it for free. Oh, I apologize. Carry on. Jeez, okay, sorry about that, guys. Yeah, duh. Do you think I'm gonna go sell out as like a regular guru selling you a course? I'm not trying to make money off of you guys. Guys, over here, all you gotta do is click there to just sign up. No gimmicks, nothing, absolutely for free. It's a free wholesaling course. Literally, I've seen every single wholesaling course. I have access to all the 10,000 mentorships. Guys, I've literally copied them step by step. I literally have an entire course set out just for you for wholesaling real estate. Click on that and let's get started.